Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a Halloween inspired craft for you. It's a Boo banner and um, I think it's super cute. I love this banner. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to tell you about some of the supplies. I'm going to put a list up here in a second so that you can see everything that's needed. A lot of what I used I bought at my local Dollar Tree. But let's start. Okay, I have a piece of scrap black burlap because I have a lot of burlap. So I just used a scrap that was about 22 by 13 inches and you don't need more than that to cut out these banners. We only need three and I'm using a quilting ruler and a rotary cutter because I make a lot of quilts. So this is what I have. This is the easiest for me to cut these out, but you don't need to buy... Um, quilting rulers and rotary cutters. You can use a silver sharpie, which is my second favorite uh, way to cut something out of black fabric or burlap because the silver shows up really well. So, but once you cut one straight edge, you know, flip your flag over and use the other straight edge, it makes it easier to, you know, you don't have to trace as much. Um, so, however, you cut these out, outline them with a silver sharpie or, you know, whatever you have, use whatever you have. But, um, so we need to cut out three flags from the black burlap, and then we're going to cut three, um, flags from the black felt. And the reason I use the felt is because the black burlap tends to be, it doesn't weigh very much. It's very lightweight. Um, and it's kind of sheer, uh, if, especially if you get it like at Joann's, um, the burlap, the weave is not very tight. So I like to back the flags to make them, to give them more structure. I like to back the flags with felt, or you could even use a coordinating Halloween fabric. So the back of your flag was kind of pretty too. Um, just make sure that if you can see through that you're happy with how that looks. Um, so anyway, we're going to cut these out, cut out the matching, um, the back portion from the black felt, and then we're going to, we're going to put them together. And there's two different ways to do that. Well, actually there's more than two. I'm going to sew my, um, felt to my burlap with a zigzag stitch and I'm going to use black thread but you could either hand stitch it or you could glue it. And if you're going to use glue, uh, the only glue that I've used for a project like this is Fabri-Tac. And I'll show you a picture of the Fabri-Tac in a second. Fabri-Tac can be kind of expensive. I buy it at Hobby Lobby. It's like $15 and I use a 40% off coupon. So if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't want to buy the Fabri-Tac, I would suggest sewing it by hand. Um, because the, um, the, uh, what am I thinking of? The burlap uh, will unravel. So you definitely have to do something to secure the edges. So here you can see that I have the zigzag stitch, um, all the way around my two flags. And because it's all black, you can't see anything. So use black thread. If, if you're going to sew it by hand, use like a blanket stitch or a whip stitch, and that'll work great too. So now I'm just going to fold down the top, and that's why you had to cut those little like triangles from the side or the little angle. We're going to fold down the top um, because that's the that's the channel that we're going to put the rope through or the ribbon, whatever you happen to use, so that we can hang up our banner. And when you cut your ribbon or your rope, um, you know, measure first where you want to put it. I usually do about six feet. But, you know, depending on where you want to hang it, you might need less or more. So that part is is up to you. It's always easier to cut more than you need, of course, and then um, make it shorter than it is to, to have to start all over from scratch. So I'm just going to fold down the top. And again, I'm going to sew this, but you can glue it with Fabri-Tac or you can hand sew it also. So now we have our three flags and the top is sewn down on all three. And I'm going to take the... Um, letter template and I'm going to cut the letters out and then I'm going to take a piece of silver scrapbook paper. So sometimes you can find the paper at 
the Dollar Tree. This is one of those supplies that sometimes you get lucky. I have picked up some um, glitter paper at the Dollar Tree before, but they don't always have it. So, but you can also pick up just, you know, a piece of glitter paper, fr uh, scrapbook paper from Joann's, from Michael's, anywhere that you buy scrapbook supplies, and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, and you're going to, you're going to put the letters upside down on the back of the scrapbook paper and then cut them out. That's really important for the bee so that it's going the right way. And then I like to use little cuticle scissors to cut out the middles of the B and the O's. Um, I just think it's easier. You can get more precise. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so once you're finished cutting out all the letters, we're going to put them on the banner or on the individual flags. And I'm going to position the letters right below the line where we sewed or where you glued down the, the top part for, the, for where you're going to put the rope. Um, and I just like to center it. So that's where the line is for me, that stitch line. So I'm just going to put the O right below there because I'm going to, I'm going to stitch my letters on with black thread again and a zigzag stitch. And I want to make sure I don't stitch into that area where I'm, where I'm going to thread the rope through. So I'm going to pin these on and I'm going to go sew them and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm done sewing the letters and I'm going to go ahead and thread the rope through and I'm going to show you the, the bag um, but I, I tore the bag open in the middle, so you really can't see, but the, the brand is Blue Hawk. I bought it at Lowe's, and I know it's 40 pound, but you just, you know, get whatever you want. You can use twine, you can use a ribbon, you know, you can use anything to hang these up. And I'm gonna put a knot at each end in my rope because it kind of frays. And then I'm going to take a safety pin and put it through the knot to help me thread it through the flags and I'll show you how I do that on one of the flags so here's a safety pin I'm out of frame and now I'm just going to thread it through this flag I'm going to push the safety pin and then pull it push it and pull it so it makes it easier to get it through and I'm starting with the O I'm starting with the last letter because I'm sliding all my flags onto the right but you could start at the end of the rope and slide your letters to the left you know however you want just make sure your letters are in the right order now I'm going to add my googly eyes and the googly eyes I picked up at my Dollar Tree for Halloween and I have just the regular black ones that I've picked up before and I think the Dollar Tree has those year round but because it was Halloween they had these fun colored like monster googly eyes and um, I'm going to use my fabric fabric tack to glue the eyes on and you can at this point you could probably use a craft glue if you had it instead of the fabric tack just make sure that you leave it plenty of time to dry I'm not sure if an Elmer's type glue would work um, but like an Aileen's craft glue would would be great um, and then uh, make sure it has plenty of time to dry. The fabric tack dries really fast. So I'm gonna finish gluing those on, and then we're gonna glue on the spider. I also bought the spider at my Dollar Tree store, and it's a purple spider, or a glittery purple spider, and I let me see how much you can see of it. So you can kind of see it here, and the underneath was kind of hollow, so I used my fabric tack again, and I put a lot of it on there, and I had to kind of, squ kind of squish the two of them together a little bit to get my spider to adhere to my my banner and then I'm going to take some embroidery floss and you can use any color that you want I have this sparkly silver color that I'm going to use for his um, him hanging down onto the onto the banner and I'm just going to kind of tuck it underneath so that it gets into the glue that's there and then I'm going to twirl it and loop it and glue it onto the um, side of the bee.
Okay, so now that that's all glued on, I'm going to take my organza and I'm just going to fold one of the edges up uh, in, just, in just a manageable piece and I'm going to cut cut off like the end to get a, a straight edge. But I'm not super worried about um, cutting this completely straight. I want it to be kind of wonky and wavy. And I'm cutting pieces that are approximately an inch, maybe an inch and a half wide. I'm using my really big scary scissors. And this organza is purple with glitter um, and little sequins on it, but um, you could use tulle, anything that you wanted to that, um, you know, had that, that sequiny, glittery kind of look. Or you could use some um, Halloween um, novelty fabric, that would be pretty too. And then I'm using um, eyelash trim, and I'm cutting these. I'm going to do eight pieces and they're going to be t approximately 12 inches in length. And I'm not really picky about keeping everything perfect and exactly 12 inches um, because it looks better, I think, when it's a, a little random. So I'm just kind of cutting them. And then this is the cheesecloth. And I'm going to cut this the same way I did the organza. And the cheesecloth is another one of those supplies that I picked up at my Dollar Tree. And I'm going to fold the end uh, just like the organza, just kind of fold it up. And then uh, I'm going to get rid of this cardboard, maybe save that for another project, and I'm going to fold up the end of the cheesecloth and just cut one inch wide strips, and I'm going to do eight of them. So again, I'm just going to, I'm going to cut the edge so that it's a, a little straight. Cheese, cheesecloth is kind of delicate, especially when you're cutting it in small pieces like this. So I will unfold one of them so that you can see what it looks like in a single layer. Um, but you have to really be careful when you put it on the banner. Um, so I, I leave it doubled. So this is what it looks like just a single layer, but it's really fragile. So I'm going to leave it doubled. I'm going to leave it in half. And when we go ahead and put it on the rope, I'm going to be real careful. And you could always glue it, um, glue it over. That actually might be a better <clears throat> way to do it. So now my organza, because I was cutting big strips, I'm going to cut them down into 12 inch, approximate 12 inch lengths. And you can see that they're kind of wonky and wavy, and I like that. So after I get eight of those, and, or one, two, three, yeah, eight of those, and four, I only need four pieces of cheesecloth, and eight of the eyelash trim, so I'm going to start putting them on my banner. And I put one on either end, or one set on either end, and then I do a set in between the two letters. So you're going to have four groupings of um, the trims and everything together. And I start with a piece of organza, and then I do a piece of eyelash trim. Then I very carefully do the cheesecloth, or like I said, you could just kind of bend or fold the top over and just do a little glue to secure it instead of trying to tie it on. And then I do another piece of eyelash trim and another piece of organza. And I'm going to do that four times, again, for the, for the two ends, the beginning, the end, and then in between the two letters in the middle. So there's the finished, one side finished, and do that again for all four. And our banner's done. That's it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like hanging up on, actually I'm using my mom's house because she decorated uh, before I did for Halloween. I haven't had a chance yet. So this is what it looks like. Um, thanks mom for letting me use your house hanging up and I hope you like it. I think this is a really fun project and you can modify it and do it for a lot of different holidays. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a lot more videos to go make and a lot more crafts to do. So I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.